top 10 Eric Clapton songs. Never liked him, uh, still don't like him today, but uh, maybe this list can, com uh, can convince me otherwise. I think that uh, Tears in Heaven is probably gonna be like in the top 2 or something. Um, I know that he has a song about cocaine, lovely. Um, I'm still not a fan of his, but he has almost 2000 videos on this fucking channel. I don't, what the fuck? And he don't, he don't even has like, uh, he has like 200,000 subscribers. I mean, what the fuck does he post all the, all the time, man? Jesus. Um, he has 2000 videos, that's kind of wild. Well, he just, he just covers the same shit over and over again, I guess. What the fuck is he doing? He hasn't posted. He hasn't posted in a year, but he posted 2,000 videos. That, that's kind of wild. But uh, but we're gonna start anyway before this video drags on too long. If I can find the damn video, which is, shouldn't be too difficult. If his channel can can just fuck off, please. Forever, man. That's probably going to be on the last first music video I saw. Oh, this annoying ad again. 15 second unskippable ad, got a lot of it. And my father's eyes probably going to make it as well, 12 million views. Can you fuck off maybe, please? There we go. Suggested by Witch Mojo, top of the songs. That's a way better band. Although Eric Clapton isn't... Um, you know, band, but way better artist. The slow end. I just, what the fuck is the name, man? Yeah, the 90s unplugged shit where he's just cheesing out his, uh, his solo. His, uh, you know, fucking hell. His old stuff. Uh, Cream and Derek and the Dominoes. I forgot that he was in uh, Cream, I forgot that. But that's probably his best project. Oh my god. Why cover Bob Marley? What the fuck? That doesn't make any sense. He looks, he looks like a fucking 50 year old housewife or something. Oh my god. I know, I know why he doesn't play it anymore, Tears in Heaven, because it's so fucking cheesy. It is, of course, because of his kid, but why write a song about that? Why? Not, I'm not trying to be, you know, insensitive here, but... You know, you're, you know you're not gonna play that song, because it's about your dead kid. Have a little bit of, you know... Yeah, thinking there, I mean, come on. Fresh cream, there's rally gear. I'm just uh, reading off, you know, the the cream records. Wheels of fire and goodbye, which is their weakest album. I mean, why split up though? They are the most uh, the most popular supergroup ever. I mean, it's kind of wild that Eric Clapton is three times on uh, Rolling Stone's greatest artist. Solo career, Derek and the Dominos, I believe. And Cream. It's kind of wild. That song was, eh, it was iffy. Number nine, Cold Love. That's nice. <laughs> oh, those are really questionable lyrics. The bass player looks uh, looks like he's about to fall asleep. Journeyman Mark Slowhands returned to form and sobriety after a decade of substance abuse and hit or miss releases. Just go on home. 
Yeah, for me it's always a miss. I mean, it's so slow, it's so jarring, nothing is happening. I know it's about feel, but it's just so fucking boring. I mean, he just looks like dead rock, really. Like he's gonna tug in his kiss after this. <sighs> so fucking cheesy. This is a newer song? Number eight, I shot the sheriff. Not really. Wait, was it originally by Eric Clapton? Did Bob yes. Marley? Song. Yeah. He looks like a fucking 50 year old mom in, in this performance. His guitar, uh, his guitar color is nice, like you know, sea blue, that's a nice color, probably my favorite. But look at his fucking hair. He looks like a fucking 50 year old granny or milf or however. Oh, he looks fucking disgusting. No offense. But do something about your haircut, man. It looks horrible. It's <laughs> about to cry, man. Really. I'm gonna get a lot of dislikes, but I don't care. Eric Clapton is overrated as fuck. This was also the last video that uh, Alex did, I believe. Ministry of Music. Was Keith Richards in, in the crowd? I believe one of the Stones members was in the crowd. It's pretty wild. Can this move on, please? Nobody cares. The bass is nice, though, I guess. People in the crowd are just looking like. They're barely awake. Uh, Derek and the Dominos. Number seven, Bell Bottom Blues by Derek and the Dominos. I believe they're only. Yeah, I believe Derek and the Dominos isn't on the list. But this record, you bet your sweet ass it is on the greatest records. I mean, he just looks like a fucking death, Jesus. I don't know why that, why that is bothering me so much, but... You know, if you look like a death, you're not really a rock star, I think. You look like someone who cracks dead jokes. And, you know, uh, that's not really a criticism on the music, but it's just so fucking boring. Oh, of course it did. Oh, probably Layla's gonna be number one though, now, now that I think about it. That's probably his most talented song. That's one of the only songs that doesn't uh, make, make me go to sleep. Boring song. Number six, wonderful tonight. Slow hand. I mean, how how many records does he have? He has four with Cream, one with uh, Derek and Dominoes. Slow hand, most retarded his name ever. Wonderful tonight is also about Patty Boy. He just has his fucking hands on the cover, man. Fucking genius. Of course. His debut record is self-titled. What a genius. Debut is great. Second is great. Um, live record, I believe, was pretty mediocre. EC was here is alright, but not the first two. 
No reason to cry as a ribbon on the first two. Slow end is great according to critics. Backless is good but not a slow end. Slow fab. Just one night is great but not uh, not great, well not perfect. Another ticket is alright. Morning and cigarettes is mediocre. Behind the sun is mediocre. Oh my god. The thumbnail for this video has three fucking stars. That's oh my god, that's probably a sellout moment really. What the fuck is this? Oh uh, since I'm Yeah, I fucking love this song man. I think that the distinct difference between uh, his solo career and Cream is that Cream is ballsy, Cream is psychedelic, they're a great band, they're just full of energy, full of creativity and they're just a great band overall. With Eric Clapton he takes all of those elements away and only keeps the mellow and the slow shit, well, that is why he's called slow, fat. slow hand, slow hand job. Um, yeah, <laughs> I never used that before the joke but uh, there we go, slow hand job. Uh, yeah, that's probably why, uh, why I think always about it when uh, when you hear slow end because it's for me it's really suggestive. It's a really dumbass name, but um, but yeah, you know, Cream is just the best band he was ever in, and you know, making a goodbye record was the dumbest thing he ever did as well. Cream is a great band. White Room is fucking great. Uh, this should be number one though, I fucking love this song. Written after bassist Jack Bruce saw Hendrix in concert. The song features a co-vocal with Clapton. And a tight locked in bass and guitar riff between the two. If you want to request some cream man, go for right fucking ahead. I love this band. Cannot stand Clapton, but I love his cream band though. The woman tone. I mean, it's good. It's a good solo. I like as well my guitar gently weeps thing. It's probably I probably like him when he collaborates with somebody with Cream, with Derek and the Dominoes, with uh, with the Beatles. You know, while my guitar gently weeps. I like him when he collaborates with people, but I. I can't, well I don't hate him, but I can't stand him when he when he does solo shit, I fucking hate that. Or I don't hate it, but it's just so fucking boring. Number four. I mean Sunshine of Your Love could have been number one though, that's a fucking great piece. Number four. Cocaine. A oh, lovely song. Yeah, that, I mean it's so, it's not even subtle. August is terrible. Homeboy is terrible. Oh, he got so fucking cheesy. Journeyman is great, but it's for some people it was already too little to late. Twenty four nights is alright. Oh, they needed the live shit. Fucking all. Rush original score. What the fuck? Yeah, of course. Name your original score after a way better band. Do that. MTV Unplugged in 1992, fuck off, great, fuck off, From the Cradle was great, that's pretty impressive though, Pilgrim was bad, the story of his music from the motion picture was horrible, oh, the thumbnail is fucking disgusting, Riding with the King is good but it's probably a compilation, Reptiles mediocre, Uh, fucking hell. Rush soundtrack. I mean, I can be too insensitive to this song, but it's just so... Why? He's just looking there like... I did cocaine. I'm so insensitive, but it's just why make a song about it, man. Just cry it, you know. 
it's so insensitive for me to say this, but just cry it out, you know, just, uh, you know, just throw his ashes on your favorite, like, uh, CD or something. And just move the fuck on. I mean, if you write a song about your kid, you're gonna, or people are gonna remember your kid forever because they love that song. I mean, oh my god. He just thought it out so fucking poorly. You know, I don't want to go to the money part of this, but it probably made him a shitload of money as well. I'm just being so insensitive here, but I'm just saying how it is. Back almost terrible. He has so many records though, the, the Road of Esco, Escondino was decent. Life from Madison Square Garden was great. According to critics, uh, Clapton is great, but that's probably uh, you know a fucking compilation record or something. I believe it's actually an original. A lot more cream. I mean, when I hear you know Tears in Heaven, it is like when I saw you in heaven. My, my eyes were like, oh, they were about to cry. He is just, he doesn't have any fucking legs to stand on. He doesn't have any fucking balls. You know, it, it isn't, you know, it's not the case of, you know, putting balls behind him because, you know, you're, you're saying goodbye to somebody. I understand that. But compared to Crossroads, Crossroads is fucking ballsy. It's heavy. It's great. It's rock and roll. It's psychedelic. It's just fucking great. I love Cream, but I cannot stand Eric Clapton. I mean, Cream is just a great ass fucking band, man. Well, of course it does. I mean, that's a, cr a great title as well, Crossroads. Sounds cool as fuck. Clapton was great. Um, yeah, and then he has more shit, Jesus Christ. Life shit, old sock was mediocre. Oh my god, that album cover though. Look at that fucking album cover right there. <laughs> I'm just shooting an album cover today. That's the most half-assed album cover I've ever seen. <laughs> he was just on a vacation and took the album cover, man. And not even in full full picture. What a fucking lazy ass. Crossroads, the guitar. Uh, great, but it was live shit. Live shit. I still do is decent. And Life in San Diego was great, according to the users. Change the world by phenomenon or on phenomenon. Yeah, I believe that in the 90s he went really fucking soft and really fucking slow and shit. Slow hand. You know, he's called slow hand for a reason. He fast really slow. Motherless children for fucking hell. Uh, 461 Ocean Boulevard. <laughs> Just play some cream shit again, man. That was great. Little Wing by Derek and the Dominoes, Lila and the other assorted love songs. And other assorted love songs. Yeah, this is good. I think I like Lila as well, but I'm just not a big fan of a solo career. Lay Down Sally from Slow End. I mean, you can request some, um, some cream. You can request the one uh, Layla record. I can do that. Uh, you, I mean, you can request Eric Clapton, but I'm probably gonna give it a low rating. A lay down Sally from Slow End. Those are some fine chicks though on stage. He knows what to choose. You know, I prefer the Cream Shit, but yeah, this is definitely one of his best songs. Layla. Yeah, this is the most iconic song. Ultimate Clapton signature 
it just it just shows that you know his solo career is shy because it's not number one. The only five records that really matter are the first four, are the first four the f the four Cream records and the Layla record. Those are the only records I give a fuck about. But I still like Eric Clapton, I guess, because I still like some songs of his. I actually didn't know that he was from Cream, but I guess I like Eric Clapton now because I'll fucking love Cream. And I like Layla as well. Can't stand a solo career. I think you know by now though. Got you on my knees. <laughs> so much suge suggestive natures. Oh, that was nice, nine years later. Oh, fuck off. How to ruin a classic rock track? I mean, oh my god. I believe I had an argument with Bobby Schmurda that he said, you know, uh, Eric Clapton is the greatest human being ever. And, you know, listening to his songs now, I like like, uh, I, I like 50% of it. I like, you know, like I said, I like Cream and Layla. And 50% of that stuff was on this, uh, on this uh, top 10. But half of the shit was from a solo career, which puts me to fucking sleep. It really did. I mean, if the, if the highest rated song of your career is, you know, the, the song about your, your dead kid, 20 years after your peak, that's that's kind of questionable. And then having two other songs which are way better than that, in my opinion. Topping the list should tell enough about your solo career, it really does. Agree with our list? What's your Eric Not anyone Clapton, I just really don't like a solo career. Kind of similar to Sting, I like, you know, the police, but I can't stand a solo career. The solo career is so fucking crazy. You know, where he has the Mohawk and riding on a unicorn. I mean, Sting, what the fuck, man. I think I do prefer Air Clapton in that way, but... No. Cocaine. Oh, man. Not even subtle. Layla is a good ass tune, I have to say. Um, so I'm 50-50 about Eric Clapton now. I said I, well I never hated Eric Clapton. I kind of had a distaste for him. Uh, I, you know he was kind of slightly above um, Bruce Springsteen and the Eagles. The Eagles are like the bottom of the shit barrel and Bruce Springsteen is slightly above that. I don't know why. Because I guess it's, uh, Bruce Springsteen has more songs other than one fucking hit song on Looking at You Eagles. Well, they had more hits, but I mean, their biggest hit was, you know, you know. And Eric Clapton was kind of above them, but he raised higher now for me. I think I'm gonna put Cream on my favorites uh, list because they are a really fucking great band. Um, but uh, that doesn't mean that I love Eric Clapton. I like Eric Clapton. I like his collaborations. But that's how the career of his. Avoid it. Fucking avoid it. But I love his uh, cream in uh, later days. I fucking love that. And uh, of course, the sessions with the White Album from the Beatles. I love that as well. But I love everything from the Beatles. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, video. Let me know what you think about Eric Clapton. I'm, I'm, I like him now. I did not like him, but I like him now since I didn't know that he was in cream. But no, no. That is how much research I do in my videos. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought about the, uh, you know, the list in the comments down below. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless yourself, take care and peace.